Imagine a future where teleportation is possible. In the time it takes to make a long distance phone call, you could be there. Who needs expensive rockets when you could simply teleport? And I'm gonna show you how to build one. My system needs to be fast, accurate, and 100% painless. It should be able to beam you anywhere instantly. It has to be totally reliable. Who wants to teleport if there's a risk of losing half your body in transit? Okay, here's the deal. Two teams of engineers are going to build the most amazing structures imaginable. Big, huge things that'll blow your socks off. But what we want to know is, can whatever they build survive being tested to destruction? Oh, in the name of science, of course. This week's challenge is to build an impregnable vault to protect a fragile vase. And to protect from what I hear you cry. Well, a flying car, of course, which we will be dropping from a height of 50 feet. God, I love this show. The Lapido Child story began here. There were reports of rock paintings having been found in this valley, tiny anthropomorphic figures of the Copper Age, 3,000 years before Christ. And it was as they were here, across the river, they spotted uh, an overhang that suggested a rock shelter. What they were to discover was the stuff of dreams, an extraordinary upper Paleolithic burial of a young child who died over 24,000 years ago. The story that unfolds goes to the heart of who we are and where we come from. Once they have proved themselves with blank ammunition, it's time to do it on the live firing range. This is as near to the real thing as they will get in training. Always prepared, keeping their heads under fire and never forgetting what they're there for. Risking their lives to protect others. of the harsh beauty of the Arizona desert. But for an unwary animal, its spines can be lethal. Okay. The joyous spines are barbed and hook into the skin. It's okay, picking her up's just gonna be painful for her. It's okay, it's okay, baby. Oh, jeez. I have a feline that's covered in cactus. It's critical, the worst I've ever seen. Hi, baby. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. She's bit. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Her whole body. Okay, I just want to see how it Yeah. At the Second Chance Hospital, the cat's condition is a shock, even for Dr. Rowena DeMonte and clinic technician Diana Wise. They need to sedate the cat before they can begin work. The pilot battles with the controls, but it's too late. Onlookers realize the aircraft is heading towards the ground. His aircraft hits the deck. The weapons systems officer ejects first. Then the pilot bails out too. The aircraft explodes in a ball of flame. It's a tribute to their high-tech ejector seats that both men have cheated death without even a scratch. has possessed you? No! Before committal for trial, the accused were bound hands to feet and swum to test their guilt. No! No, Sing, and you're innocent. Swim, and you're guilty. Heads we win, tails you lose.
Prince of Wales Road and London Street, Norwich, filmed in the 1930s by a cinemad 15-year-old with a camera he'd bought for 15 guineas. It still works. It's clockwork and winds up Kobsar, and then lift the sights up, and then I'll slowly pan as the official way of taking films. For seven years, Christopher made films about his family life at St. Catherine's Close. Many of them starred his two brothers, Stephen the youngest and Gregory. In 1700, a spade-wielding sexton was trying to find space for a spinster, late of this parish, under the floor of Holy Trinity Church in Rothwell, when the ground opened up and swallowed him. He crashed and crunched down onto a chamber full of skulls and thigh bones, rediscovering the mortal remains of 1,500 former parishioners in the church's medieval ossuary, the Charnel House. And this is when a real chef starts to sweat and earns <laughs> his corn. Now, you can Ooh. help, if you like, Ooh, no. with this ladle. Mm -hmm. This is clarified butter, so I just want to clear it from the top. Don't say oh, that's no, my don't. Just yeah. add it. It's right now. And then just bung that in there, the butter, and I'll whisk the butter in. That's perfect. One more. Love it. So simple. All we need now is a bit of chives for colour. And I, dear lady, can do with a glass of white wine. <laughs> so if you organise that, I'll finish off the dish. Okie doke. amongst the vegetables and the groceries, three lovely ladies eagerly await the Who's House Now challenge. Let's go find them. Anne, Sue and Anne work here at Waitrose and have been friends since the store opened four years ago. Anne Nigren is a product demonstrator. Sue Day is the wine demonstrator. And Anne Stratham works here on the deli counter. I know that they are ready to take the Who's House Now challenge. to a brand new series of Bring Me the Head of Light Entertainment. Here on the Animal Show! From under the ocean, over the clouds and around the world, here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends... Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! Another animal that makes my Uncle Arnold look like a wimp and will make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs>